Um, it's probably getting closer to a year and a half. I'm turning 45 here on Friday. Figured I wanted to, you know, at least be cleaned up for that. What's up, my YouTube homies? We're here at the Beer Brand Barbershop in Austin, Texas with my friend Micah, and we're going to clean them up today. So what's the goal? Like, what's the goal with the hair and the beard? Like, what's, uh, what's some, any looks you're interested in or what you want to achieve with everything, like in terms of getting it trimmed down and the haircut. So on the sideburns area, I like to yeah. bring that down a lot. Yeah, Maybe like course. a number two or yeah, something yeah, where it shave fades that in. Yeah. Um, shorten up on the hair a lot. Uh -huh. I do want to keep a bit of a part, but I really yeah. want to go a lot shorter. Uh -huh. um, it's got a few months growth on it, way yeah. too much. So something like a, little, like a gentleman's taper, a little bit tighter though, like yeah. almost a fade. Yeah. Um, all right, cool, man. And then on the beard itself, I want to bring that off of the neck a bit because it just kind of pushes out yeah. more than I like. I don't like it where it becomes rounded like it is, uh -huh. but a lot more where it's down um, and creates mm. kind of a line down my jaw. Okay, yeah. Straight across on the bottom, so it's a lot yeah. tighter. Yeah, a lot tighter, a lot more shaped up and sculpted and, and rather than loose and round. You want almost a square, but keeping as much as the length Yeah, trying possible. to lose a little bit of the, the shaggy look much more. Do you want to go any shorter on the beard? It could go a little bit yeah, shorter, just, just to, depending on how it cuts for in. For the sake of wanna, shape, yeah. Yeah, um, but I like how it elongates my head a bit that yeah. way because I have a look, bit rounder of a yeah. head. And yeah. flat, so. Awesome, man. Perfect, then uh, we'll get into it for you. All right. We'll clean you up. <laughs> just gonna take my blades and just go down. I'm gonna start, start with a three and a half up top. Taper back the back all the way to skin as usual um, with you know classic haircuts and then uh, just trim the top a little bit just add a little more flow. Are you uh, low maintenance for the hair or do you mind? Do you want to style it? Do you not mind styling it or at least finding the part in the morning and getting out the house or? Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Okay, just find the part, get it over a little bit, keep it a little bit messy. Okay. Um, and yeah. All right. We'll retain some length then. I won't, I won't chop it all down, but yeah, the sides are gonna go. How long have you been growing out the beard, man? Uh, let's see, I think I started around the end of September of 2019. Okay. So, I was just going to grow it out a little bit. I normally keep a stubble. Yeah. And uh, then, you know, November hit, and it's November. It's like, all right, I'll keep it. And it just kind of stuck with me a bit. COVID mm. hit, and all yeah. of a sudden I was like, well, Let's just grow it out and see what a year looks like. Mm -hmm. I actually left school early because okay. it was the late 90s uh -huh. and jobs in tech were easy to get, even without a degree. Yeah. And so got a job offer, left school, started working. And then I went back in my early 40s about uh, five, four years ago, five mm -hmm. years ago, and finished up my degree in IT security. Yeah, nice. And then picked up an MBA after that. It's really intertwined in every aspect of our lives. Yeah. Where even people that are fairly technically illiterate uh -huh. are very literate compared to what people were 20 years ago. Yeah. So in, the, in terms of the beard, man, are you uh, trying to just grow that out? Like as long as you can, or you kind of like where it's at. Once we groom it, it's kind of just gonna stay where it is. Yeah, I think I've really reached the point where I'm happy with it lengthwise. Okay. I mean, you can always just keep growing it longer and longer, but it becomes harder to manage. And right. I'm not sure. I'm really looking for that. Right. So now I got my two blade, which fits right underneath the three and a half. Okay. And that's just gonna start the blend. It's gonna start the taper all the way down and. Get him all cleaned up. Barbers, if you're not using detachable clippers, man, they'll pick some up. It's super easy. It almost feels like cheating sometimes with this, with the blade system, because there's no guesswork, there's no lever, there's no. The blades just perfectly talk to each other and you get a really nice blend. Especially for haircuts like this. For classic haircuts, classic tools, classic techniques tend to work the best. For me, personally. I mean, I, I can do the same haircut with bards. It doesn't matter. I'll step down to one and a half.
So now I got my 1A on. I stopped uh, with the one and a half around every, everywhere else because for the sake of, sake of blending the beer, I'm going to just stop at a one and a half, which is pretty short as you can see. So now I'm just going to keep stepping down my blades on the neck here until we get tapered down the skin. Then I'll work my way back up, clipper over comb, that bulk up right off the ridge there. Edge them up. And as you can see, the taper is basically done. Thanks for those blades. But I'll just make sure this is clean. Just gonna dampen the hair a little bit so I can see exactly what's hanging over the ridge here with his parietal ridge. Now let's knock his bulk out. Ridge is still pretty dark and dense, but I'm gonna go ahead and carry on with my shear work. And then we'll see what it looks like after my shear work. Yeah, I use a beard softener a bit with it. And yeah. then just the beard oil and combing it on a daily basis down. Yep. Really been able to give it a good shape. Oh, I actually started using the old money one. You guys oh yeah. Got a really nice scent. During the consultation, he used words like messy and things like that. So we're definitely going to retain a little bit of length. Still give him a good chop, but not as perfectly sculpted as maybe one would do with this hair. Just start in the back for this one. I kind of approach the front at the angle that I want. Because I saw the front was a little shorter actually than the center of the head and I want to reverse that. I want the front to be the longest part. <laughs> Just gonna shape up the back with a razor real quick. So uh, whether he puts effort into his hair or not, it'll just flow. Now once we uh, move on to the beard here, man, you're gonna be a new yeah. man. <laughs> gotta make the beard fit with it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. exactly. We're, that, we're going straight down, give you a jawline again. I forgot to mention the mustache part. I yeah. like to go over the lip on it, basically. Okay. Take it off the lip or keep it keep it over the lip? No, off the lip. Okay, okay. And then kind of fix up the catfish whiskering all stuff. Because right. then they're eating something and all of a sudden you find you're chewing on hair. Yeah, that's me. I'm growing out the mustache right now, so then I'm choosing that life, but whatever. Yeah, I did that for a while, <laughs> but you really got to train it to go over to the side. Yeah. So that's getting in your coffee all the time. It's kind of yeah. a challenge. I'm being very conservative at first, just to start to see the shape, but he does want more of a generous trim on the sides to really taper in and set in a nice jawline into the beard. Neck is great. Not too much craziness going on under the hood here. Yeah, I kind of try to keep it a little bit yeah. trimmed. I do like to take it off the neck and get rid yeah. of it kind of because it pushes it out. Yeah. And that a little too much. Yeah, it gets like Yeah, it's fun in the balance. Sometimes there's undergrowth that I tell guys we're just gonna leave it how it is. It's working for you. Sometimes yeah, it's a little more in between. I feel like in general I've got enough thickness in my beard. I don't yeah. Really need it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm just cutting off the bottom there. When I try to clean that up, it normally involves just taking the uh, the razor and pushing it straight up until mm -hmm. it stops. It's like, oh, that's the top of my <laughs> yeah. neck and the start of my chin. Yeah.
we'll do one now is giving him a jawline back reflected in the beard which is what he asked for All I'm doing now is just going a little more dramatic with the taper on his cheeks because the hair on your cheeks was just so poof, poofed out, you know, the tapering the sideburns wasn't enough. So now I just have to, just shaping it in a little more and we're, we're I mean, as you see, man, almost about to be there after a little more shaping up. Got my clipper blade open, just now gliding the surface, getting any flyaways, and just dialing in that shape. What do you think of the shape, man? What do you think of the shape so far before I put in something? Do you want to rein it in a little? But once we straighten it out and everything. Okay, yeah, because I like straight lines. Okay. So you want it more? You want it a little more dramatic than it is? Um, what do you mean by dramatic? I mean just what it is now, but more, if that makes sense. Like, you want me to just go in a little bit closer on these lines? Yeah. Okay. The tufts here, I definitely want to get rid of. Okay. Okay, cool. Then let me... Uh, let me knock that for you real quick, man. You just have to go a little bit tighter just to achieve those lines. Cool, cool, cool. Really happy with how it's all come together. Yes, sir. Yeah, the real test would be what my girlfriend thinks of it, Terry. She, uh, she always says, you know, when I met you, you only had a little bit of scruff. You didn't have this. But she's been a good sport about it, and so I'm trying to keep it a little yeah. cleaned up. She's got some big surprise plans for us that all afternoon. Right. Yeah. yeah. No. 
know it's going to be a scary movie. Jack Black and he's a deadbeat, right? So he has... I was like, oh, movie's up. Have you used any other of our scents before? If it wasn't old money, what would you use? I say that because we don't have old money right now. <laughs> I just bought something like uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. So, How, uh, is that the first scent you've tried from us? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I thought about Temple Smoke also. Right, right. So which kind of product are you going to put on there? I'm going to use the Utility Balm. Okay. Just for the mainly for the skin. I'm gonna run a little to your beard. But it's just to soften up the skin after that shave, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was curious if I should just be using the oil or if I should be using more. Yeah. Well, it depends on which, if you're looking for a little bit of hold and more groom, mm -hmm. the balm. You know, the, uh, the balm's gonna moisturize down to the skin and a little bit on the hair. Beard oil, just think beard oil, strictly hair. Okay. It does help, it does nurse the skin a little bit. But the utility yeah. balm, pretty <laughs> versatile, pretty, uh, you know, good for the skin, for the beard, hands, what have you, any dry areas. Okay, and that's the temple smoke you're going with? Yeah, right? okay. yeah, that's what you're smelling pretty right good. now. Shave up the neck, and I'll throw a little bit of the temple smoke styling balm through the dome. I put in the styling balm. I already have blow dried his hair right after I cut it, so it already had like a loose uh, shape to it. And all the styling balm is, does is just, you know, softly lock that into place. We'll send uh, Michael home here with some Temple Smoke goods. Oh, okay. You'll get both, man. You'll get the styling balm and the utility balm. So use that in the beard. Use that everywhere, man. Head to toe, really. Um, okay. You can get away with it use as a solid cologne. I did that with Old Money Utility Balm before I uh, <laughs> got the actual EDP from them. This try would be good. The, try out the styling balm, man. And yeah. then I know you got the Old Money stuff on the way, but now you got the, the option to choose between the two. So, All right, sounds good. Thanks. thanks a lot, Micah. Yeah, appreciate it. Of course, remember what you did because I'll probably be back. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. And be like, I yeah. just want what you did last time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm Mark. I think that Beard Brand Products and the Beard Brand Mission, they've really helped me kind of wear my beard and present it to the world in a way that, honestly, for the first time in my life, like, kind of makes me feel kind of handsome. You know, sometimes. But anyway, thanks, guys.